Hello, welcome to Friends in Tech, where we empower individuals by delivering expert knowledge in industrial automation. So, in today's video, uh, just a minute here. So, in today's video, we want to we want to connect ESP8266 with a Django website. How can we connect ESP8266 uh, to a Django website this year? So remember, in my previous video, we explained how we can connect a microcontroller to Django over serial communication, where we used Arduino to connect to Django over serial. Serial communication, you have to maintain connection between it's a connection oriented you have to maintain connection between your your laptop and your microcontroller using a usb cable so you, all you need is to access the com port but here now how can we do this wirelessly connectionless okay how can we do this connectionless using ip address so remember esp8266 the node mcu it's a wi-fi module but still it's a microcontroller with few pins let's just check that here uh, let's just check that here okay i can check that here uh, So this is uh, the pin layout of ESP8266. Uh, basically, these are the pin configurations. You can see we have uh, a GP a GPIO pins, that is general purpose input-output pins. Uh, very few pins. So, and we have uh, only one analog pin, that is A0. So these are few pins. So what happened is that we interlink uh, this Wi-Fi module with a microcontroller like uh, like Arduino or maybe uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. So how can we do this? So the first step, I will go to my uh, the v uh, the VS that is Visual Studio. Then I will try to create the code to create the interface that uh, some HTML page. Then uh, we'll have to link this with. Uh, with, a, with Arduino through HTTP server. So let's begin. So remember in our previous video, just a minute here. So in our previous video, you are trying to add multiple databases in a Django project. So we created a Django project and we call it test, test one. We call it test one. Then we had an application called Connect DB. So remember, I just want to use this for demonstration because uh, uh, there's no need for me to add uh, another application here. So I just use one application called Connect DB. But this was from the previous video. You can see that we have uh, more than one database here: the SQL i3 and uh, MySQL database. But in today's video, we are only interested with connecting. ESP8266 to, to a Django project. So how can we do that? So the first thing, you know the process, you know how to create a, a Django project. So just go type Django admin start project, then give project name. After that, create a Django application by just typing python manage.py start app, then the app name. Then it will be here. So you realize here we have urls.py. So this is our app. Remember our app is connect db. Our project is test one. Our project is test one. Our app is connect db. So let me go to our app, connect db, connect db here. Then we have I'm interested with uh, urls.py and views dot views dot pi. So remember don't concentrate with all these. Uh, don't concentrate with all these. 
so next thing you just add uh, define uh, uh, let's just add index a method index uh, then request uh, then request there that's it then uh, you can see here request we have to import request we have to import requests so just import requests import uh, requests import requests there yeah. yeah that's nice so here uh, <coughs> the best method to start is to develop first the HTML the HTML page so you need to create another folder here called templates in your app so create a folder called templates create a folder called templates so inside this te uh, template create another folder called connect DB just the name of the app so connect DB connect DB then inside connect DB we want to create a file we want to create a file let's call it index dot HTML index dot HTML there so this is our file so let's just add uh, the dome structure so there so let's say this one is a uh, control loads wirelessly so control load wirelessly so remember i just want to create a form and this form will just have will provide some uh, figures let's say one up to ten so we'll post this uh, this numeric values to our HTTP server so let's do that so here in the body we just want to add form then method is very important so remember we are trying to write to the server not get from the server all right i'm trying to write to the server so i will use post method So let's add some label label for let's say let's say, uh, let's say command let's add input the type will be text then let's give it ID and a name command because we'll be trying to access the views so the views will try to access this by using the ID or the name there's no need to give it a placeholder anyway So that's it then uh, the submission button so type give it submit then just write here send and I guess we are done with our uh, 
with our HTML page. But something important with the Django, you have to add SRF token. For you to use this form, you must add SRF token. So let's just do that here using uh, this. Okay, that's nice. And then uh, what next here? Let's just add some uh, H1 tag there. Can we control loads or control LED? How you want to put it? Then that's it. So just save this. So go back to views.py here. There's a problem here. There's a problem with views.py. So what we what we want to do here is that uh, when you make a request, we just want to render or we want to uh, return uh, the HTML, the index.html. All right. We want to return index.html. So we just want to render. So return. Return, then render. Request. Uh, then we want just to give you the, we want to give you the, the index dot html. So you have to, you have to specify the, the route. So remember index dot html is in uh, templates connect db, templates connect db. So connect db uh, then we just want to give index dot html that's it we just want to give index dot html so you have to add all your methods in uh, urs dot pi so when you come to urs dot pi here you need to add your views or your methods here so let's add our first view is uh, index. So use path. So path. Then since it is an index uh, method, you don't have to specify the name of the view. So just you can just use that. Then uh, views dot index. Then let's just give it name. Our name will be index. Name is really uh, name is very important because uh, how will you try to access uh, this this index or these views? So you will have to specify the name. That's why here this name is very important here. Then you can just save this. Then you can go back to your index.html and save this. All right, urs.py, views.py. Save this. There. So let's run our server. So. Then just type python manage.py run server. we have our HTTP server here the port is 80 or basically 8000 so let's try to access this so I'll just write the correct uh, URL connect to DB Yes, so this is it. So this is where we can write our, uh, we can type the commands. So let's say one, then you can submit. 
and then we can say two then you can submit that also three we can submit there so that's okay so we need to handle this request we need to handle this request in uh, in index method here so in our views.py how can we handle this request so we want to write to the server we want to write to the server so we are using a post method so we are just want to say that uh, if request dot method is post then we can get the command from uh, the remember from the html here using a uh, command here we have command so we want to get that command remember you have posted it so we want to get it from the form so here we just want to type here if method if request dot method sorry if request request dot method equals equals post equals equals post uh, then then we want to get the command we want to get the command from the form so just say command let's create a variable called command then you want to get that command from the form so request so request dot post dot get get command this will be impossible if you if you fail to provide in your index.html you have to specify that using name here so that you can access it in your views.py don't forget that so that's it so what do you want to do with this command so after getting it what do you want to do remember we want to write this command to our uh, i mean to the http server so how so let's say that uh, in your in your form you typed one or two or zero so what will happen is that we want to check if that command is one so let's just say we want to use one and two so when it is one we want to turn led on when it is two we want to turn led off that's simple so when i say if command if command equals equals one equals equals one let's say you want to turn led on so equals equals one then we want to turn led on so we just write try try then request uh, request request uh, request of get a request of get so this is this is where things get uh, interesting because uh, we are using http server so we have to access the http route so how will you do that so here instead of using communication that is using serial where you have to install the pi serial we use the IP address we use the IP address so I'll just create a variable here so let me just create a variable here up here so this variable is uh, the ESP8266 IP address so let me just call it ESP8266 8266 IP address then that so here you have to specify you have to specify the ip address you have to specify the ip address so http http so you have to specify the ip address i don't know mine is what so i'll have to check with uh, esp8266 then I'll have to write it here. So let me just get something. 
So that's just a guess. I will have to replace this with the correct IP address. I have to replace this with the correct IP address. Uh, there. So remember, don't don't forget to replace this with the correct IP address. So replace uh, with correct IP address. There, IP address. So using this IP address, we can write to the HTTP server, or we can make a request to the HTTP server. So you can just scroll down here, and uh, we want to get. So let me use string format. Uh, there. So uh, let's do this. So ESP. ESP eight six there slash so I'm just specifying the route okay I'm just uh, trying to specify the route LED because we want to turn our LED on so LED on I'll say so that's the route so I have to create this in my in my ESP eight two sixty six code so we'll try to create this. So we are trying this. So after that, then we try to raise an exception. So you must raise accept. So if requests. request request exception exception RCE. Uh, then So when we raise this exemption, then we just uh, want to raise this as E, then we just want to print error sending a request, all right? We just want to print error sending a request. Oh, just let me, let me check something here. There's some error. Some error, let me correct this error first. Remember, we are just saying that if we try to request, then we get uh, some uh, request exception as E. Then we just want to press that request failed. So we just want to print error sending request failed. So just print. Uh, let me use formatted string. request error sending request to ESP 8266 there and I guess we are done I guess we are done then after that then just return for this if statement here then we can return or we can redirect index so I'll redirect so return I'll redirect direct index direct index there so we are done we just come here in render import redirect also there then uh, that's it so that's it then you can just save this 
you can just save this but remember this is just for one command it's just for one command so what about when uh, command is uh, two what about if command is equals two so you just have to copy this then paste it all right just have to copy this and then paste it here so you can just copy everything here there copy then try to paste here all right paste then here write two then we definitely we must have indentation errors here indentation error here so this one here and there and i guess we are done then this one will be led off led off let's just try to correct this instead of using if let's just use else if else if yeah. then you are not interested with this that all right i think we are done here Let's just check this indentation error here. It should be okay now. Yeah, uh, we are done here. So just save this. So we are done with Python code and uh, HTML. So that's all you need. So the next step is to go to your uh, to open Arduino IDE. The next step is to open Arduino IDE. So in Arduino IDE, this is your new sketch. This is your new sketch. So the first thing is to import libraries. So in Arduino or C++, you use a uh, hash include. To add the libraries but you have to make some very important prerequisites here first so there are some conditions here you have to make very important conditions come to file here then go to your preferences here this is very important actually you have to add this <coughs> you have to add for ESP8266 then you have to add uh, some JSON file here so HTTP you can check here so this one is for Pico you can scroll uh, this one is for Pico Pico.json index.json this one is for RP uh, that one is for RP8266 uh, okay just kill this one here so you have to add uh, arduino.esp8266.com that is very important then uh, in your board manager go to board manager here if you don't have this board installed already so you can go to your board manager so come to tools then boards here we have a board manager here this is a board manager so in board mo manager just search esp8266 then you'll be able to uh, install this board so i already have this board here you can see this is generic esp8266 so you can come here you can come to esp8266 boards then select the generic board there so that's it so that after that now you can start coding or you can start using ASP ASP8266 to add libraries come to sketch then in include library then select the first library will be 
ESP8266 Wi-Fi so you can see here you have ESP8266 Wi-Fi so this is the first library that you have to add here so I don't need all this so let me just delete all this up here delete uh, delete this then I also need the server there oh. Uh, let me just delete this one also there so that's the first library you need that's the first library you need that is ESP 8266 Wi-Fi dot H so oh, just a minute here this thing is noisy so let's add another library for the server So hash include then just write ESP8266 web server uh, you have to get this library right web server dot h all right there Then the final library is software serial dot h. So those, uh, I guess we are done with the libraries. Then the f uh, the first thing we have to add the the SSID, the name of your Wi-Fi, the name and uh, the password of your Wi-Fi. So let me say that I'm connected to a uh, run Wi-Fi. So I just add some variables here. I just add a constant, not a variable, constant so const char SSID. Uh, this is the name of your Wi-Fi. So the name of my Wi-Fi is run. Then, uh, then the password. Okay. Okay, password. Uh, I don't know password is what. Let me just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, zero one so I guess that is the password I don't know yeah I guess that's the password fine uh, yeah so that's it then we have uh, we have to instantiate our server how to de uh, develop some uh, an instance here so just say ESP using the the ESP web server here create an instant ESP 8266 8266 web server then just create server create an instant called server so this instant server it's an object so we'll try to use this to access this library then just give it port 80 port 80 this is very important for this is the http port it's very important 80 by default is the http port 80 by default is the http port then let's go to void setup so in void setup we want to start our wi-fi so it is wi-fi dot begin so but before that let's start our serial so serial dot begin serial dot begin uh, this time we want to begin our serial using the baud rate of 11 11 0, 0. that is the recommended one for ESP 8266 
then after that we want to begin our Wi-Fi so just write Wi-Fi dot begin then you have to pass these parameters here this is uh, SSID and the password so Wi-Fi uh, dot begin then you have to pass these parameters because for you to begin your Wi-Fi module then you need the password and the name of the Wi-Fi SSID and uh, password there so the next thing we want to check if uh, our module is connected to to the Wi-Fi so we need to check the status the status of, uh, of the Wi-Fi module so in order to check the status of Wi-Fi module I will have to use a while loop so while so just use a while loop then uh, Wi-Fi so let's check the status of our Wi-Fi this should be X there uh, dot status so let's check if this uh, this Wi-Fi module is connected to the internet um, If it is not connected, if it is not connected, then you have to wait. You have to wait for uh, uh, one second. Then you just want to serial print next line serial print next line serial print next line then let's just give it connecting connecting to Wi-Fi that's there so that's it so after that uh, let's just serial print serial print next line and let's print connected Wi-Fi connected Wi-Fi connected Wi-Fi connected then after that we want to check this is very important you have to check the IP address you have to check the IP address then you'll have to transfer that IP address to our views.py so serial dot dot print then we must check the the local the local IP address So just type Wi-Fi dot local IP. Uh, there. So an inbuilt function. And you're done. And you're done. So after that, remember we in our in uh, in Django website that is uh, in the HTML page. Uh, there's a command. You have to write a command you have to post that command let's say one so this command you have to take it to the http server then after that we want to get it out of that http server to turn led on or led off so in order to get that data out of http uh, http server using uh, using arduino code then we have to turn our server on first So you must turn our server on. So I'll just type here server. Remember server here. It was an instance here you created up there. So server. Server.on. Then this is very important. The route is very, very important. So go back to you. Go back to VS. Then you can check here the route. 
it is what it is led on led on this is very important so let me just copy this it's led on then come to here so come to server.on then you have to specify the the route so led hash right just a minute hash led on ld on then http http get so we are using get method so just serial print then serial dot print serial dot print let's print one let's print one there then you're done then after that we want to send an okay all right we want to send an okay to the server that led is on we want to send an okay to the server so you can just write server dot send server dot send then 200 200 here is to indicate okay all right 200 is to indicate okay oh, then text then just send okay led is on then you are done so what about if you want to turn your LED off? So we are using command number two. We are using command number two to turn LED off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something very important here. Right, something very important here. So to turn LED off, to turn LED off, just ha you have to copy this again. You just have to copy this, copy, then paste it down here. Paste it down here. Then you just have to change the route from LED on to LED off. Then you just have to give it two instead of one. There. Then just say LED is off. Let's say LED is off there. Then after that, you want to handle other requests also. So just say server. Just say server dot handle handle client dot handle client. You just want to run that function there, and you are done you are done i guess you are done so if you try to compile this let me just uh, name this sketch uh let me try to compile this first all right we have an error <laughs> we have an error with a library that is esp8266 web server that web server dot h What is the error here? Oh, need some space there. Hey, all right. Let's try to compile this again. Ah, uh, still have error. Okay, ESP8266 web server dot h does not exist. I mean this that's not exist this all right uh, let me just check this server let me just correct this
okay that was supposed to be capital W so let's compile this again okay we have another error software serial uh, that H okay software so you must ha you have to get uh, this libraries right okay let's just check errors one by one mm -hmm. all right all right all right let's check this let's check this again so there's nothing much here by the way there's nothing much i have something here password mm, and server dot h dot handle client so the server dot handle client what's wrong with this okay compli compilation error there is a missing comma or semicolon before const yeah here yeah, definitely that is true okay so that is true let's compile it again and what's wrong with this so what handle client okay so I guess now it's a uh, there's a problem there's a final problem here this one here have to correct that web okay that is true that is true okay that is true so there's nothing much here this is a simple code this is just uh, your Wi-Fi details. Then it, this is just an instant. You are creating an instant server. Then it is the HTTP port. Then this is just starting the serial. Yeah, you have a last kind of error here. What's the problem with this handle client? Don't I have that in my server? Mm. Let me see the error. Oops, this did you mean handle client? Okay. okay, that is interesting. It's not capital H, really. Is that really okay? Okay, let's check this. After that, we'll try to connect uh, our board, that is a uh, ESP8266 board, and let's check if it will connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, okay, just a minute. So I guess we don't have any error here. So the next step is just to connect your board. And let's see. Let me connect the board here.
So we are trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. You can see connected to Wi-Fi, and you can see IP address is 192.168.202.241. So you need to take this IP address to your uh, uh, Django views.py. So you have to copy this IP address, all right? 192.168.202.241. So here, you have to change your IP address here. Uh, let me just check that again. It is two zero two two four one. So two zero two two four one two two four two four one. That's okay. Then just do that. Okay. And that's perfect. So let's go to H the HTML page. HTML page. So let me just kill this guy. Then refresh this. Oh, there's an error here that I need to handle first. Okay, kindly check the code. I'll make some corrections here. I'll make some corrections here. Actually, there was an error in that. Uh, there's an error with this redirect here. When I tried to copy this and paste it down here, uh, I made some kind of error here. But just check everything again. Just check everything. All right. So, but it's okay now. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and reconnect my uh, ESP8266 pod. is the end you can see we managed to send a two and a one from the from the html page so the next thing you uh, you probably want to do is to read these two then uh, you can turn led on or off so thank you that's the end it has been a process but hopefully through making mistakes we learn So, thank you.